Hi guys, it's Miss Chenoweth. So our first lesson this week is going to be over the book Splat the Cat, The Rain is a Pain. So we're going to talk about this story this week and some of the things that we've been learning about that are in a narrative story. And the first thing that I want you guys to notice is the title of this book, Splat the Cat, The Rain is a Pain. And I know that these letters are backwards from the camera, but if you look real close right here in the word pain, we've got a vowel team, A-I. And remember, sometimes, whenever we have two vowels that go walking together, sometimes the first one says its name. So let's get started with this book. Splat the Cat, the Rain is a Pain. And this book is written by Rob Scotton. Splat couldn't wait to spend a whole day in his brand new skates. It was a sunny day. There was a plain little cloud in the sky, but it looked far away. Splat jumped, spun, and flipped, and the cloud got bigger. It got closer, it got darker. Hmm, I wonder what's gonna happen next. Splat tried to skate away. He went left, he went right. But the cloud followed, it was gaining on him. Now the cloud looked as big as a plane or a train. It was gray, it was dark, stormy gray. If we look here on this page, we can see another word with our vowel team right here, train. Okay, A-I, sometimes the first letter says its name, right? The cloud poured rain. The rain is a pain, Splat complained. Inside, Splat tried to dry off. He shook out his fur. He jiggled his paws. He squeezed his tail, but Splat was still very wet. I'll just air dry, he said, standing in a big, muddy puddle. Look at that puddle, guys. He made such a mess, didn't he? Splat wondered what to do next. Use your brain, he told himself. He rolled into the living room and built a racetrack. Splat went faster and faster, around and around and around. Splat! Look at that, he fell on the cushions. Oh no! Splat picked up one muddy paw and then another. He left a big muddy puddle and a big muddy stain. And here on this page, I see another word with the A-I vowel team. A-I says A. Mom was not happy. Out, Splat, out, she said. But it's pouring, Splat explained. The rain is a pain. All the skating had made Splat hungry. He rolled to the kitchen for some ice cream. Little Sis was frosting fish sticks. Little sis had the radio on. Meow Rock began to play. It was Splat's favorite song. He began to sing and dance. Oh my goodness, I wonder what's gonna happen next. Sis is over here doing her fish sticks and he's over here singing and dancing. Mm. I wonder how much of a mess he's gonna make this time. Splat bumped into little sis. The frosting spilled everywhere. Out, Splat! Out, little, said little sis. I can't go out, Splat said. The rain is a pain. Oops. Splat rolled into the dining room. The song made him think of something to do. Let's play musical chairs, Splat said to Seymour. Mm, I wonder if that's going to be a good idea. Splat fell flat. Mm. He's getting into all kinds of trouble, isn't he? Dad was not happy. Out, Splat, out, he said. It's still pouring, said Splat. The rain is a pain. Splat rolled into the hall to take off his skates. 
Mm. Now look at him. He looks so sad. Because it's raining outside, so he can't go outside right now. And there's nothing that he can do in the house. He just keeps making messes. But Splat ran into little sis. Splat! Her plate of frosted fish, fish sticks went flying. Oh no, said little sis. She reached out in vain. Yikes, yelled Splat. But he caught the plate. All the fish sticks remained. Mom and Dad heard the shouting. They rushed in and ran into Splat. Fish sticks went everywhere. So Splat caught them, and he saved from making a mess. But then when Mom and Dad came in, what happened? They made the mess, right? Everyone slipped on the fish sticks. Everyone slid in the muddy puddles down the hall and out the door. Oh no, said Splat, the rain. What do you guys think is going to happen with the rain now? Oh my goodness, let's find out. Makes a rainbow. So when the rain was finished, it made us a pretty rainbow. So we could see some of the words in this story had our AI vowel team in it and they said A. Now in the next video, we're gonna talk about the different parts of a narrative story. So I really hope you guys join me for the next one, okay? Bye.